Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 3 Let's Play where today guys I'm gonna be making the big push to be able to get something upgraded in the laboratory because it was a big push to get the laboratory now I need to actually upgrade something in it uh, so I need to be able to hold 50,000 elixir I can only hold 38,000 and I don't even have even close to that much. So, uh, yeah, we got some big things to do. But first, um, let's start a couple of 15-minute upgrades. That's kind of how I've been starting videos off lately. So these are the only two that I'm aware of that I care to check anyway, things that I want to upgrade. So um, free loot on an hourly basis is always a good thing. So let's go ahead and upgrade these guys. Both of these, 700 gold and elixir apiece. And it is a 15-minute upgrade. So we'll go bam and bam. All right, so now... That that is going, um, it would be great if I could upgrade this elixir storage today. Because look at that, it gives me plus 20,000 elixir. And that'll get me to 58,000 total storage capacity. So that's kind of my focus. I'm going to get this elixir storage upgraded today. And who knows what else. We'll find out as we go, right? So, uh, I've got my armies. Let's go in there and continue to work on these uh, goblin maps. I've been, I feel like I've been very successful with them lately. So, let's take out whatever this one is going to be. Ooh. Oh my, uh, this looks rough, actually. <laughs> Alright, so there is a, a doorway with a couple tombstones. That's obviously to say, hey, be careful. Don't don't come in that direction if you can help it. Um, I'm actually going to dive into the base from this side. And these cannons are pretty strong, but if, if I, like, you know, trickle in the barbarians, watch out for bombs, and then send in the rest of them and maybe, like, two different entry points, then we'll be in, uh, in good shape. So I'm just going to scatter a few barbarians across there. Very good. Now let's send in the rest of them. There wasn't any bombs on the outside, which was surprising. And then let's also get the archers in there, too, just to kind of back things up a little bit. Very good. Okay, everything is lining up nicely. As soon as these cannons go down, I think that's going to be it. I don't think there's any corner buildings. So that's awesome. Now, 10,000 elixir. That is not too shabby, guys. 10,000 elixir, and it's all probably right there. Or a big chunk of it was in the town hall, I guess, but a lot of it is in these storages. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about what we're going to run into... In these little windy paths. Uh, okay, no bombs. That's awesome. I was about to say, I'm afraid we're going to get into some death, you know, d death bombs. But uh, looks like everything is going fairly well. Also, notice these guys' walls. These walls are so bad. Level 1 walls. Guys, you should have upgraded them a long time ago. Okay, goblins, I, I understand you're primitive. You don't understand technology. But... Walls, man. Come on. Anyway, so there we go. 10,000 elixir. That was awesome. And 4,000 gold. Big fan of that. All right, so now I could do another one and start the next army. 40. I really wish I had quick train. It is so annoying having to do this manually every single time. But it doesn't unlock till Town Hall 5, as I've mentioned several times now. All right, so let's do another one. Um, I think I have... Uh, yeah, this one's Town Hall 4, but then the next one says Town Hall 5. So let's definitely take on this one. It's going to give me lots of gold, which is always a nice thing. Especially if I'm going to be upgrading elixir storages. And, ooh... This one rough, dude. <laughs> this, this one seems rough. Look at this. Six cannons? Six cannons. My goodness. Okay, so um, let's just do... Trickle, uh, trickle in a barbarian, okay? And then send in all the barbarians, okay? All the barbarians, all the archers. They're going to break through the wall, and hopefully they can uh, bombard these cannons really, really fast. Dude, I'm losing barbarians so fast right now. This is not even cool. And then, dude, they didn't even split up and go for the, the other cannons. They started going for the the huts. I get it. They want to get to that loot. But this is b brutal, bro. Brutal. Okay. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this, guys. Yeah, this is not going to go according to plan. Um, I might have to... You know what I should do? I should wait on this one and bring some balloons. Because notice, like, every single defense on these are, are ground targeting. So if you bring some balloons, which are air targeting troops, then, you know... It's game over for them, right? So, yeah, that was bad. Uh, 1,560 gold. Didn't expect that one to be so hard. Like, the one before that was super easy, and then the, the, the next one was super hard. So, forget that, man. All right, so I guess, yeah, I'm going to wait for this uh, next set of armies to be ready, and I'm also going to wait for my 15-minute upgrades to be done, and we're going to go out and do a few more raids, and I've got some big upgrades to do. How much loot do I actually need for these upgrades? I need uh, 12,000 gold, so I have just enough gold to upgrade the storage. But I really, really wish I had done a little bit better on that goblin map just because, again, I need 50,000 elixir. I'm very, very far away from that. 
Um, there's other gold mines I could be upgrading. Uh, there's just a lot to be done. Definitely top priority though, working on storage capacity so that we can work on our offense. And I forgot, army camps, right? Uh, these are both level two. So two hour upgrades, each one would give us plus five troop capacity. So maybe I should focus on this. I don't know. And then obviously uh, getting the third builder would be a huge one as well. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Hopefully we can get something done. Alright guys, 30 seconds more to go before these collectors and mines are done, but my army is ready to go. So I'm not going to jump back into the single player, because that beat me up pretty bad. So I'm going to go back out into multiplayer, and I'm just going to try to find a base that I can beat up that actually has a decent amount of loot. And ideally gain some more trophies so that my opponents get a little bit better. Um, I think the major thing I'd like to do is, never mind, it doesn't matter anymore. I found a base with lots of loot. <laughs> 23,000 elixir? That's crazy for this stage of the game. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, we got corner building. So I'm going to let that one work on that one. That one work on that one. That one there. And that's it. Okay. So, mortar is going to be the biggest issue, as per usual. Um, so let me throw in a couple of barbarians just to check for problems. And then uh, let's go barbarians. Just kind of like real heavy deployment on this side. Archers directly behind. I want these barbarians to funnel toward this mortar as quickly as flipping humanly possible. Get in there, guys. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Okay. Gold storage. Things have locked on to the mortar now. Come on, buddies. Stop dying and, and do the death making to the mortar. There you go. Well done. But I did just lose a bunch of archers, so I don't know if we're going to get a three-star. We may, may not even one-star. We've got so many defenses. That's the problem with the mortar, man. They're brutal. Um, if I were to start bringing some giants, and of course, people are suggesting bringing giants. I've never felt that it really made a difference, but it, uh, by bringing giants to an army, it actually really helps because you can distract that mortar with the giant that's not really all that affected by it. So that may be an option. That may be something that we try to do. But I did just lose the raid. No, wait. No, I didn't. Ha-ha! Check it out! By taking up the quarter buildings, I actually got some extra percentage. So with this going down, it should put me at 50%. It should. Let me see if there's any other buildings. Yeah, see, if I would have put a, an archer on this army camp or something, I would have also got that 50%. This would be a plus 11 or something, plus 10. So that's pretty good. Uh, but that was still a lot of elixir. I just gained a lot of pretty elixir from that base. That was awesome. Please don't stop at 49%. Please go to 50. Please. 48? No! Man, I miss the days when I, <laughs> I miss the days when each building in this uh, series was like 8 to 10%. I miss those days. But anyway, that was still awesome. Look at that, 19,000 elixir. I am in really good shape. In fact, I just maxed up my gold storage. I probably should have upgraded something before I went to attack, but that's totally cool. Okay, so um, we are so close now. I'm going to just continue to focus on this. We're so close to being able to upgrade something in the lab. But the main focus needs to be upgrading this elixir storage here. It's a three-hour upgrade. No problem. 12,000 gold. I've got plenty of gold. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. This will allow me to start working on lab upgrades. Let's do this. Three, two, one, bam. Which means next episode, guys, will be my very first lab upgrade. That's awesome. Now, uh, the next focus should be elixir upgrades, obviously. So what, what's my, what do I have in here? It's getting easier to look at this thing now. So I got barracks, I've got gold mines and gold storages, and obviously army camps. Yeah, so I definitely want to start focusing more on army camps. And I'm going to save a little bit of elixir, okay, keep that in my storage, because I, I'm going to need a bunch of it once that storage is done in a few hours. So let's do this, guys. Two-hour upgrade, getting that army camp plus five troop capacity, okay, totally worth it. Um, and I'm going to have about 25,000 elixir left over. So let's do this, guys, in three, two, one, bam. Sweet. Okay, so now that I've gotten those going, three hours from now, um, it will be it will be go time. I'm going to need a lot of elixir. I may do a couple of raids off camera, and I'm also going to be getting uh, another uh, five uh, troop capacity. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, okay? So I'm going to be bringing 25 archers instead of just 20. So that'll be the difference. All right, and oh wait, 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 40. I normally do 40 barbarians. Hold on, hold on. Just gonna make sure I've got everything straight. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to bring 40 Barbarians and 25 Archers going forward as soon as this army camp is done. Next episode, we'll be working on getting the Elixir. I might already have the Elixir by then. Who knows? I'll do a couple of raids off camera. And we're going to start with the Barbarian upgrade because that is just the best upgrade you can do. And then um, that'll make our attacking significantly better. Plus, of course, focusing still on the army camps. I don't see any upgrades right now that require me to work on gold upgrades or uh, like uh, gold storage upgrades but i definitely don't want to leave like this one level two and this one level two and this one's only level three while this one's going to level six so i mean i focused way more on elixir storages than gold storages but that's just because i've needed it for the offense and that's always going to be the way a new town hall level goes so um guys oh and obviously by increasing offense helps me attack better to get more trophies so that i can get to uh 500 gems to get my third builder so that that's all it's all connected right the end goal is more builders to progress faster the big be very beginning of the game is very very slow unless you buy the you know the special pack so it'll like the builder pack for you know uh three bucks for the free builder plus five bucks in gems i mean it's a pretty good deal if you guys decide to buy it and speaking of deciding to buy stuff uh, if you do decide to buy anything, be sure and use creator code Klaus. You can find the link in the description. They put that code automatically, but remember that the code does expire after seven days. So always check your shop for Little White C. If it is uh, there, then you're good. If it is not, then include or click the link in the description or input that code manually through the settings. And that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe. Join the Klaus family for daily gaming videos. I'm very proud of our progress so far. And uh, we're just going to continue to chug right along. But for now, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.